Hey guys. So today I'm going to be talking about Menagerie Cosmetics. I ordered the Violet Ink Palette. Um, let's see. I think it was the very end of November. Yeah, it was the last Friday in November, November 29th. And it took two weeks for me to receive it. That was like processing and shipping. And keep in mind, I am in Massachusetts. This company is in Washington State, so it did have to come all the way across the country. And, um, all right, so let me tell you a little bit about this. This palette is normally $19.99, but I, when I ordered it, it was part of, like, um, it was the Black Friday sale they were having, so I got it for $14.99. And then there was $6.95, for shipping for a total of $21.94 so if it had been like a regular order it would have been um, $26.96 which is still not bad considering how nice this is alright first let's talk about the packaging so they use an artist for their uh, palette cover art uh, Robusta Art is the artist firm that they use. And how gorgeous is that? I just can't even get over it. If you look at it closely, you start to see more and more things about this that make it really unique and special. So this is a pressed pigment palette, so it's not technically an eyeshadow palette and there is a little mirror on the inside but look at these colors you guys this is what I want in an eyeshadow palette something that is not crazy expensive something that is has got beautiful artwork on it and colors that I don't already have in my collection you know what is the point of ordering palettes that look just like every other palette that you have this is what I want this is what I want to try to do with my collection is just get things that are unique that I don't already have so as you can see as I'm tilting this back and forth there are two shimmery shades there's mimic and three hearts and then there are four matte shades but they're all variations on purple some are more cool tone and have that blue hue to them and then some of them are more of a traditional purple color but I still feel like the palette definitely leans cool which is another thing that makes this unique because usually when companies do purples they do warm purples which I love purple so I like all the shades of purple but I feel like cool tone ones are my favorite this is a very um, small, portable type of palette. As you can see, it's smaller than the palm of my hand, so this would be great to just throw in your purse if you are traveling, if you, if you like to wear crazy colors. Um, speaking of crazy colors, something happened with this palette. As I was doing my makeup, I noticed it today. That has never happened before. Usually when I do my makeup, for a YouTube video. Um, usually I have to do it too intense on purpose because the camera washes everything out. For whatever reason, this was the other way around. If you look at these, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, you know, why did you why did you pack it on like that? Why did you go so crazy? I actually didn't. Um, these are pressed pigments, and but in real life, this is not as intense as what you're seeing on the camera. So, yeah, I'm not really sure why that is, but that was the case. Now, in case you're wondering, today I used Iron Grip, is what I have in the crease. Three Hearts is what I have on my lids, and Ink Jet is what I dragged along the lower lash line. Now, if you look at this shade, 
and then look at my eyes. You can kind of tell that it's the same color, but it looks like I packed on tons of it and I really did not. Um, so this color intensified and got much darker. Well, not much darker, but it got darker as I was trying to blend it. And um, that one looks pretty accurate, though, that I have on my lids. So if you want to see a variety of looks with this, you can look at my social media pages because I posted a different look with this palette every single day since I got it. I got it on Friday. So on Saturday, I posted a look using these two shades together. And then I have these two today. And then yesterday I did these two. So I'm just trying out like different combinations to see how well they work together. But um, yeah, I, I really like this. This is just stunning to me. I think these colors are so beautiful. When I placed my order, two weeks went by and I didn't hear anything from the company. Like usually I would get an email that would say um, your package has been shipped. So after two weeks I thought, hmm, this is kind of strange that I haven't heard anything. Maybe I should try to contact them. So that morning I sent them an email and a couple hours later they sent me back an email with a tracking number. And I was like, oh, okay, it's, so it's already shipped. But I thought, you know, it, I thought it was kind of weird that I didn't get the tracking number till I asked for it. So I know they did get swamped with tons of orders on Black Friday. And um, so that's probably why they probably just were out straight because it's just, um, I think it's just two people that own and run this company. I believe I heard read that somewhere. So this is a real, real small company and they don't have a ton of products to choose from, but I'm very impressed with the quality of the eyeshadow. The, the package design is even more beautiful in person than when you look at pictures of it like on the website. And uh, I would definitely order from this company again. Right now, I'm in the process, though, of trying out lots of different brands that I have never ordered from before. And um, so I don't think I'm going to place another order right away, which is fine because I saw on their website when I was looking at their other products that they're taking a vacation. And so they said they won't be processing or shipping anything for that week that they're on vacation so that's kind of a deterrent for me to want to order anything right away anyway because you know that would just tack on another week onto whatever uh, time it would take to process and ship it anyway but I think I do want to try out their liquid lipsticks uh, I've heard really good things about their liquid lipsticks as well and they have some other palettes that are really pretty too um, what else can I tell you about this? Oh, yeah, this is a pressed pigment palette, so you might want to do your eyes first and then do your face makeup, and I keep forgetting because I'm not used to doing that. So if you were to really scrutinize my face right now, you might see a couple little sections of my face that have uh, some purple on them. <laughs> because um, I got a tiny bit of fallout that came down when I was blending and um, I had already done all my face makeup so I really didn't want to like take it all off and start over so I do have a teeny tiny few specks of purple here and there but yeah I'm I'm really loving this and um, as far as like swatches go I mean they look when you swatch them, they look exactly like they do in the pan. So it would actually be kind of pointless to swatch this. But you know what? I'm going to swatch um, the two shimmer shades anyway. So that is Mimic. 
and that is three hearts. And see how it's a, a bit different when it's on your skin. Like especially this lighter one. Yeah, they don't quite look the same. And then the, I might as well do all the swatches, right? So let's see, Jellyfish, Inkjet, Iron Grip, Octopi. I'm glad I did these swatches because I just remembered something else I wanted to tell you about this that I almost forgot. Okay, so Jellyfish, Inkjet, Iron Grip, and Octopi. But yeah, you can, you can tell that these are pressed pigments. Um, the thing I wanted to tell you is some of their eyeshadows are available as singles. So let's say you bought this palette and you were just nuts about it and you went through a particular color that you really loved. You could order it as a single and then you wouldn't have to order the whole palette all over again. So that's really nice. I mean, not every single shade in every single palette is available, but I think they kind of know which shades are people's favorites. And this company used to be called Makeup Monsters, but they rebranded, I think about a year ago, into Menagerie Cosmetics, and they changed like their um, like their theme of their company used to be Makeup Monsters with sort of um, like cartoonish drawings, and now they're doing this animal thing where they, they put animals in the art for the palettes and um, they donate a small percentage of the proceeds and uh, to animal and animal charity. So the whole aesthetic of the company has changed. But um, they, they had a lot of customers and a really good fan base before so it was very risky for them to change everything like that because you're bound to lose some customers that don't want a rebranding but um, yeah, the, the products are amazing quality and the art and everything is so beautiful. But what I was going to say is when they were Makeup Monsters and then they rebranded to Menagerie, they kept the, li the liquid lipstick formula. So, and, you know, everybody loved it when they were Makeup Monsters. So that's why I really want to try some at some point because... They have a reputation of being an excellent liquid lipstick. So I'm definitely going to need to pick some of those up to try next time I place an order. And there is another eyeshadow palette that I've kind of got my eye on. But like I said, trying to feel out some different companies right now and, you know, uh, jump around and try some different things that I've never tried before. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.